3b dear diary diary is like a notebook in which you write the date and the most important things that happened that day this is today this is the important things that happened today and this is yesterday and here are the most important things that happened yesterday diary notice that there is a difference between diary and dairy dairy diary diary dairy we are on page 38 look at the two diary entries below written by two brothers Danny wrote this and Luke wrote this they are brothers listen read and answer the question choose a b or c who was happy about the blackout what is a blackout Ooh, that's a blackout no lights blackout who was happy Danny Luke or maybe Danny and Luke both Find keywords in the text. Keywords are words that help you understand the reading. Like blackout. Blackout is a keyword. Brilliant match. Oh, there is a match. This is a keyword. Words that help you understand the main ideas, understand the reading. Now read. Wednesday, the 3rd of April. Today started, started, the past of start. Today began like any other day. I got home from school and did my homework. Then dad, my father, asked me. Now ask is not like when you ask a question. No, it means he told me to clean the garage. And Luke asked me, he told me, to find some information, some facts, some details on the internet for his project. Project is like a very big homework. Boring. That's not fun. That's not interesting. I just wanted to play football. Then something incredible happened. Something incredible. Incredible unbelievable a blackout no lights no electricity electricity is the power carried by wires this is a wire carrying power carrying electricity electricity no cleaning no computer yuppie you say yuppie when you are excited so I played football in the street with my friends all evening. It was a brilliant match. British people say brilliant like excellent. It was an excellent match. So Danny was happy. What about Luke? Let's read. This evening there was a blackout for three hours. So I stopped working on my project, my very big homework, and sat outside in the garden with my parents, my father and my mother. Danny, my brother, played football with his friends in the dark. Dark, there is not enough light. It was dark outside. They were so funny. They sometimes kicked each other. When you kick, you hit someone with your legs or with your feet. Each other, one another. Instead of the ball. Instead of, they were supposed to kick the ball, but they didn't. They kicked each other. Instead of the ball. They got a lot of bruises. Bruise. One bruise. Two bruises bruise then we had a picnic picnic 
We ate our food outside. Sandwiches and fruit. In the moonlight. Moonlight, light coming from the moon. Life without electricity, without, with no. With no electricity isn't bad. Every now and then, every now and then, from time to time. Not always, from time to time, it's not bad. So, who was happy about the blackout? Both Danny and Luke were happy. Write T for true, F for false. They were without electricity for three hours. True, three hours. Danny needed help with the project. False, it was Luke who needed help from Danny with his project. Danny cleaned the garage in the end? No, he played all evening. Luke and his parents watched the football match? Yes, they went outside and they watched Danny playing with his friends. Danny has bruises now? Yes, they, Danny and his friends, got a lot of bruises. They had dinner outside. Had is the past of have and has. It means they ate, the past of eat. They ate dinner outside. That's true. They had a picnic. <clears throat> 2. Grammar. Past simple affirmative. I am with Tom and Ali now. Now. Later. I was with Tom and Ali yesterday. Now, this is in the past yesterday and this is now it's present past is something that happened before now it happened and it ended we always come to the park this is present we always come in the past how do we use come i want you to go to page 69 Let's go. This is page 69. And search for the verb come. Now, this come is in the base form. This is the present. And this is the past. Come. Came. Come. Came. So, we use came. I came home at 6 o'clock yesterday. This is the present. I enjoy talking with Tom and Ali. Always I enjoy talking with Tom and Ali. But last time we let's use talk. What is the past of talk? Page 69. Oh, this is take, not talk. Where is talk? I can't find it. What do I do? Easy. If you can't find it, just write ED in the end. We talked the previous time we talked about endangered animals. Talked is a regular verb. Come is irregular. Look here. These are irregular verbs. Irregular, irregular verbs. So, if you can't find the verb, on page 69, just add ed to the verb. Watch, watched. Talk, talked. Look, looked. Easy. Now, sometimes we don't just add ed, we do something else. Like if there is e in the end, like live, use, we only add d. Lived, used. If you see one of the vowel letters, like A, E, I, O, U, if there is a vowel between two consonants, now P is not a vowel, T is not a vowel, at the end of a sentence, then we need to double the last letter, double P, double L. Do you get it? You look at the last three letters. We have not vowel, 
vowel, not vowel. Then we double the last letter. Visit is different. It's an exception. When we write visited, we don't double the T. Words ending in Y, like try, cry. We change Y into I. But we don't do this with play because it has an A, a vowel, before the Y. We just write played with ED, without changing the Y into I. Okay? Now this is spelling. Now complete with the past simple of the verbs in brackets. Yesterday I get up. What's the past of get up? Page 69. Search for get. It's got. I got up. I woke up at 7 o'clock and I prepared just add D. Prepare is not here. It's regular. We just add D because there is E in the end. And I made breakfast for my family. Maria and Fran stay like play. We just add ED in the end. We stayed at home. We didn't go anywhere. Last night and listened ED to the radio. 3. We went the past of go. To the skate park yesterday we the past to have is had we had a great time last saturday morning alan alan is a man's name tidy arrange his room there is why just like cry we change why into i he arranged organized his room in the afternoon he play Played, we just add ed, played tennis with John and in the evening, he watched ed, documentary on TV. 3. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. What's the difference between a, b, and c? They all are ending in ed, ed, ed. How do we say this? It's watched. ED sounds like T. Listen, listen. Watched. Watched. Sounds like T. t. Watched. And this is played. Played. Sounds like D. Played. And this is wanted. Sounds like id. Id wanted watched no not watched no watched get it wanted wa watched watched played no played not played played now listen and tick the sound you hear b listen and tick the sound you hear Watched, played, wanted, started, happened, asked, listened, stayed, visited, liked, hated, helped. Now listen again and check your answers. B. Listen and tick the sound you hear. Watched. Played. Wanted. Started. Happened. Asked. Listened. Stayed. Visited. Liked. Hated. Helped. 4. Speak. Talk in pairs with a partner about what you did yesterday after school. Use some of the ideas in the box. You can use watch TV, do my homework, do housework, 
housework like cleaning the windows, cooking, washing. Go to the zoo or skate park. Go rollerblading, shopping, bowling. Have a picnic. You eat your food outside. Stay at home and not go anywhere. Surf the net. Visit my grandparents like my grandfather and my grandmother, grandparents, or visit my friends. Visit a museum. Play football, basketball, tennis. Play computer games. Like this. Yesterday, after school, I did my homework and then I surfed the net. What about you? I did my homework and then I went rollerblading. Did is the passive do. I did my homework. I surfed. The passive surf. Regular verb. Now, red, red means irregular. You look at page 69. Green means regular. You just add ed. Went, the past of go. I went rollerblading. Yesterday after school, I had a picnic with my parents at the beach. What about you? I stayed at home and I watched TV. 5. Write. Write a few sentences for your diary. Diary is a notebook in which you write the important things that happen to you each day. About what you did yesterday after school. Start your writing this way. I had quite an exciting afternoon. Quiet like very. I had a very exciting afternoon. I got home at 4.30 and I... And here is my diary. I used irregular verbs and I put them right here. Thursday, the 16th of January. I had... The past of have. I have... I had quite an exciting afternoon. I got home at 4.30 and I was surprised when I saw the past of C. I saw my uncle Ahmed in our home. He spent the past of spent. When you spend, you make time pass. He spent the last four years in Canada and now he's back. Yippee! I'm very happy. So we went out and had a delicious meal in a fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurant, very expensive, very nice restaurant. When we came back home, when we returned home, my uncle gave me the past of give. Gave me a gift that he bought, bought the past of buy from Canada. It was the best day ever. The best day in my life. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.